We got a game. Let's go. We are black against Dodge Chess 13, 1845 from the UK. We get six if we beat this guy. Putting us at 19, whoa, what is this? Knight C3. What? What is this good stuff? I'm just gonna go here. And he's gonna go here. And I'm gonna go here. Stopping his idea. So he's playing the Jobava London. But now that I played a6, pretty sure this knight has nothing else to do. So I'm going to do just normal stuff, probably. And then expand, castle, just normal black stuff. And we'll see what he does. If you're going to play this, you should probably have a move on move four. Like, it's an E3 just automatic. Thank you, sir, for taking my advice. Let's develop the bishop outside of our future pawn chain. He develops the knight. I could hit my bishop. I could jump in here. Those are fine. I just want to develop, protect my center, open this up. Develop, develop, develop. I'm going to put this here, challenge his bishop. He might throw his knight in here. If he takes, I may take with the pawn. Just controlling this square. It looks interesting. I need to get my bishop out. I need to castle. He chucks the knight in first. Fine. So in this position, maybe I could also play c5. That looks interesting. Knight d7 looks interesting. But I think I want to do c5 first. So like c5. I don't know this. C5, 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 or Knight D2, Knight D7. Mm. Or none of those. And Bishop B4, because he has nothing to defend this Knight, and I can add pressure. Hmm. So a bishop before and he kicks it immediately and I take and then hit that and he can't even defend it. So let me go for that actually. That looks concretely good, I think. If this works, then something he did is wrong. Maybe he can just play like F3. Then I'll castle, and when he kicks my bishop, I can bring it back. I don't have to take his knight. Although I could ruin the pawn structure.
I wonder what it'll do. I'm pretty well developed. I'm ready to castle. He's actually not. And I wasted a move on the side. So how does that work? How does that work? Oh, because he moved an extra time. Hmm. Okay, so now he develops the bishop, attacks my bishop. If I castle, if I jump my knight in, it kind of forces him to take with his bishop. And if I take with my bishop and he castles, I mean, I have the bishop pair, but woohoo, you know, big deal, big whoops. If I castle and he takes and I take, and then he castles. Um, then take, take, jump in. I'm going to castle. Just develop. When in doubt, Morphe style. Yes, it looks weird because this pawn looks weak, but it's not really. I always have this. He castles. Darn. Darn this guy. He's so good at chess. Huh. I could steal this. No, I cannot. I lied. Mm. If I take this and he takes this. Then I jump this in. He can't defend that pawn. So if he does take. Might as well get the bishop pair, right? No, what am I saying? I would give up my bishop. Don't play faded chess, kids. So let's keep developing. What should I do? What should I do? There's so many moves on the board that I have no idea. So many like reasonable looking moves. Whatever, I'm just going to retreat. You can take it with the knight, I don't care. My pawns are on light. I don't need that bishop. Now I'll use the dark square bishop to control the dark squares. There were so many moves. I mean, this, 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 c4, knight d7, knight e4, knight d6, knight 
Don't worry, CE5's coming. C5, Knight C6, Bishop D6, Queen C7, Rook C8, takes. Okay, so he's deciding if he should take. And with what piece or not he's deciding if he should move his knight to the side of the board to confuse me further hello what what I, I'm almost tempted to kick it <laughs> just to it's an insulting move he's done. I'm insulted. And if he jumps in here and I take it and he takes this What a weird move. I could also go here. But here, here, I can attack it. Mm, I don't know about that. It all looks a little bit of. So let's develop and do something normal. We don't care about this. And if he wants to put his knight here, I mean, he can't right now. And if he takes this, if I took with the queen and he put it there and I took and he took, then Okay, so he kicks the bishop, which this is kind of automatic, right? Somehow, I'll get in C5 at some point. I don't know which one he's going to try to push. Probably C4. Maybe C4 now. What do I do on C4? Um, take it. And if he takes with the bishop, I have a fork. And if he takes with the knight, I take his bishop. And then I have a fork. All thanks to his wonderful knight on a4, who actually has no squares. So this, if he intermezzos this, then I could take with the knight. And if he takes the bishop, I take with the pawn, and he still has no squares. That's kind of sneaky. That's kind of hard to see. 
but there are so many intermezzos that he can take. So if I kick it and he intermezzos this way, he's up a piece. I take it back. So c4. I thought I could just take this. Which I'm going to. You might realize that he can't take back now. Because otherwise He's not, I don't think he wants to let me do this. So maybe that's just a blunder, free pawn. I mean, c4 was the move I was looking at too. It's the move I wanted to play as white. So this is just a natural recapture. I throw this in, doesn't do anything. This doubled pawn is good, controls more squares than before. He retreats the knight to control the center, but Okay, I need to improve my stuff. What do I do here? What's the play? I could go C6 just to control this square one more time. Push, because if it's not there and he pushes and I take, he can take back. It might be smart to do that. I gotta make sh but then he has tactics like this because my bishop's undefended. And if I go here and he goes here and I push and he takes, it's also, mm, I get a knight, he gets a knight, I get a pawn, he has to move, then I get a knight. That, maybe that's not bad. What else do I have? I could throw my knight in here and after takes, takes. That also looks really good too. Yeah, maybe, and if he doesn't take and he goes in here, I'll just take his bishop. So let's do this instead of b5. I like b5 too, but this is very forcing. He probably doesn't want to give up his dark square bishop, so he'll probably either take or move it. This goes into a fork, maybe, and this. I can take the knight and then play b5, or I can. What can I do? I can just play b5. So he brings the queen over to the light square, defends the knight, connects the rooks, and controls this square. Maybe looking to sack at some point. Maybe right now. But if I take this bishop, I could hit the queen. I'm not sure what that does. The queen can't really go anywhere. If it goes back here and I hit it, I could take a pawn, which looks dangerous. But what's the point of hitting the queen? If he does sack, If I take the bishop and he takes back, I 
take the bishop, he takes back. What do I do? Maybe I just trade everything and use this as my like winning winning asset. So like takes, 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 takes. Or maybe takes, 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 takes. C5. I want to play c5 right away. So let me take the bishop. I'm just going to take it. And just get the dark squares. And when he does this. Now I want to play c5. Now I want to play c5. And if I trade everything, I can try to three just three v two him and win with that to make life easy. I wonder if this plan makes any sense. Trade everything, keep my extra pawn. That's already past the D. And if I can play b five, this three versus this two. That's my plan. Now I'm attacking this, which also undermines this. He's attacking my bishop. If I take his knight, I could just get rid of this dark square bishop. And if he takes this way, Then I have a four verse two. So here, and if he takes this way, he loses this and this. And if I take with the knight, then I lose the temple hitting the bishop. So if I take with the bishop and he kind of has to take here, I go here, he brings a rook over and I just move my queen like here but then he jumps a knight in but then I arrange my knight here let's take it Okay, he takes back. I mean, his knight gets here, but that kind of blocks his own brooks. So I'm going to go for my plan. Now it's a four versus two. If I can get my knight in here, my queen somewhere, it should be fine, right? And then I just need to trade more stuff somehow. If I could trade knights, that would be great. How do I trade his knight when it's here? I mean, if my knight gets here, that's a ridiculously strong, I feel like. Just as strong as his. It's not as deep, but it's such a good outpost. And he can't contest it except with his knight, so he'll have to trade if he wants to get rid of mine as well. And I, th and I think my 4 verse 2 should prevail if played correctly. So I'm going to go here and defend this pawn another time. Because I want to move my knight and go here. I don't want him to be able to sack and collect that pawn with a rook here. Threatening this pawn as well. 
I don't want to allow that, but if he doubles now and I go here and he doubles again, then I'll go here. Then if he goes in here, I can go in here. Because I don't want a knight here, takes, takes, other rook takes. That's way too much compensation for what I want to give him anyway. I want to be as solid as possible, maintain all four pawns if possible, and trade off rooks, knights, and then he'll avoid the queen trade like the plague, but my queen... Okay, so he jumps in right away, but there are no threats, which is very nice. Now I have time for my maneuver. He may start trying to undermine, but I'm not sure that that helps him. I feel like that might speed up my promotion process in the long run. Because I won't have to make pawn moves to advance because he's already making them for me. So, And now he can't stop this. And the only way to challenge it is to get his knight here or here. So like one, two, three, four, five, something like this. crazy. And maybe I'll sack my rook for this knight and this pawn at some point when my knight's here. He goes to double. I hit this pawn. And I actually have this as an outpost. That's kind of crazy. This looks so solid, though. But this looks super annoying because his rook can't use these files. Whoa. And I can do it with tempo. I don't want to get too frisky, though. I don't want his queen and knight to do some weird thing on the light squares. I don't see what, but... So this is hanging. Maybe he'll just go g3. I feel like most people... This seems like a move. Um, I mean, normally you'd, I'd put my rooks in the d-file, double up and try to trade rooks, but with both of our knights here... I feel like now that that's the wrong file to put them on. I think I just have to push my pawns with my rooks behind it. So maybe now he wants to do the sack I mentioned. And what's his plan when I take this pawn? What? Even if he clearance... Or maybe like take, he wants to come in here. No, what? Here, even if he clearance some things. And I take with the queen. And he brings his rooks in. And I move. I'm not sure. I'm going to take it. I'm just going to take it. And then I'll come in here. I'll come in here to stop his rooks and force him to sack. I mean, it's not force, but it kind of is force, right? Because he can't even go to these files, which are the open ones for him. So, and these don't make sense, so. So he tries to undermine me. Makes sense. I'm going to ignore it because I need this pawn defended. I could jump in here now. Which looks, and it hits this pawn. So I'm going to do this since I'm low on time. Um, oh, I see if he wants this 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 
but this is actually creating a sneaky mate threat. So if I go here, it looks like I'm just defending, but I'm actually creating a mate threat. So if he just takes, I mate him. That's tricky, so I'm going to go here. Also defending the pawn, not just doing a, a, a mate threat. I want to go here, but I didn't want to hang my pawn. This defends it, gives it some more space, stops his queen from coming here. It's actually a really good move. I don't know why I didn't consider it, forgetting about his pawn push. My queen wasn't, it was kind of blocked, so this makes a lot of sense. And now I'm threatening mate in one. So he has to react to that either by putting a piece here, by pushing this. He pushes that. Kind of weakens his king, maybe. Um, maybe going here, which threatens this, still this. It's kind of tricky. If I go in here, it doesn't actually threaten anything except this pawn again. And if you want to defend it, he cannot go here. I'm going to go here. This just looks annoying. I mean, look at his rooks. This, this is just a slap in the face. So, so he undermines it further, but I can defend it one more time. which I will, because that undefends the knight. So if I go back here, the knight's hanging. I'm up three pawns. I just need to trade. He just keeps giving me free stuff, though. He just gave me his whole center. Who am I to deny that? If he takes here, it's supported. If he takes here, I'll take with the knight. He can trade some stuff. I'll still be up pawns, some amount of pawns. He moves his queen up, hitting my knight. I'm not sure why he'd do that though. What did that do? Maybe it gives him dark square here. But I'm going to do... Hmm. I'm going to do this because this hits his knight again. And if he takes. I could take his knight, but then he could take my knight. Hmm. Here. Um, what's the move? What do I move this night? Do I have to go F six? I'm going to go F6. I don't I don't know where to move it. This looks bad and this looks like he takes and then it's loose again. At least now I can do this. Maybe this was a good move. But I mean he's going to win a pawn, right? At some point, like now. Um what am I missing? I guess this is a move now. But he's he's going to take something. I feel like he's going to take this. But he doesn't want to take it now, right? Take, 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 take. My pawns are separated. That's annoying. So take, if I take, if I hit the queen first, Queen goes somewhere. I can't take this or this. 
So it takes he does take um I feel like I should take the C pawn. His rooks are so much better placed than mine. That maybe I need the tempo when he defends then I could bring a rook over if I take now and he kicks me if this 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 he can go with his rook Let me create a pass pawn and get one tempo back so I can bring a rook over. Maybe this one. That way if he moves his knight, I can start trading stuff. He's also hitting this pawn, so on this I have to watch out. I could move my king. That seems like trouble. Um, I could go here, also preventing my knight from being kicked out. That looks interesting. It does weaken the light squares a little, but that's okay. So now I have to trade rooks. I have to trade rooks somehow. So I'm going to move my queen here. So I could trade rooks. But I'm going to hang something. I know it. My pawns are all loose. I have 20 seconds. I'm still up two pawns. I just need to trade stuff. And he blunders? <sighs> okay. He's fighting the good fight. Blockading, which I like to see. I'm going to bring my knight back, controlling the light squares. Now I'm going to put a rook here and then threaten and then take this pawn. And that's that. Good game. Took his points gladly. Um, okay, so he was never better. That's always nice to know. He gave me a 2250. Not bad. Especially since this is zero theory. I know nothing about this from the black side other than a6 is um, a move. So they don't like c5 here. B5 is good. That was one of the moves I considered. What else did I consider? I considered just... Um, this is also good. So two normal moves. Do they care about taking? Yeah, they say get rid of your bad bishop. Bad because his pawns are restricting it, not yours. And then... And then I, I'm guessing... They just want that square for the knight. Okay. And now that C5's in, they don't want you to take here. They want you to take with this one and keep the bishop. F6 is an inaccuracy. How else to play this? This is super complicated. Yeah, best, but also 
sharp, super sharp. Because once you take this guy, he's going to take this way, which is what I calculated. And then I said, his rooks are super active. Why allow this? Because no matter where I go, he's going to chase me for a little bit. I'll have to go here so he can't chase me. I think I start taking stuff. How's it? says that's best. So maybe, I mean, I didn't like that, but if that's best. Hold on. What? Are, I, I lost the part. Where was it? I hear. So what's his response? If I go here, why does it keep? T I want to see his moves. Just to kick my knight, right? And then I was gonna go here. Ah, you can throw in the queen intermezzo and then go there. Okay, so move by move, let's go back to the beginning. All this is fine. Excelente. If I take the bishop and the queen takes, and I take, he can't take, but we already knew that. I thought this is what I was doing. They just want to do it with the queen here instead of the bishop here. It is cooler, I'll give them that. Okay, so my move or b5. These were the two I considered. They like them both. Oh my god. This was hanging. Yeah, I'm going to say I saw that. He didn't take it. I took this one. And then c5, they don't like. Specifically because 94. That makes sense. I should have just b5. Nice and normal. And on b5, he can't even do this because this hangs. Okay, so why did I have trouble? What was I thinking? I th okay, b5 makes a lot of sense. I don't see any downsides. This doesn't work. Um, and you could do this stuff next. Okay. This forced my hand. I'm surprised this is so equal with this 4 on 2. He gets a lot of activity. He jumps his knight in, which looks so natural. But I'd rather his knight be here than one of his rooks. So I plant it in there. I take my free pawn. I threaten meat in one. I jump my knight in. Which maybe was a little hasty. Maybe rook over was a little more... But then again, my rooks are hanging, so any knight jump. I guess I could trade. There are no effective knight jumps, but it's scary. Knight before is also a move because it gets you back to d5 with tempo. And once you're on d5, it's super secure, and you won't have to worry about any of the weird stuff I had to worry about where your knight's hanging in these lines because here's the most solid square. So anyway, I go here, take my pawn. Now he creates some problems for me. I didn't want to go knight d7 because now it's basically hanging. So I was thinking like, what if he just takes any, I don't know, anything? Doesn't he win a material and get his rooks active? So I did my move, which is fine. He takes, I push. 
Yeah, so B4 is the only real move to hold, to make this easy for black. I feel like if you take, um, or even with the knight, which is what I was thinking, he takes, you take, he takes, and now he can put so much pressure that it should peter out to a draw. So I was trying to make it more solid. So I pushed because his rooks can't do anything if his pawns are in the way. So I thought if I did this, now his rooks can only use the defile and I'll do whatever I can to trade them and then I'll work, I'll win with this side. That was my logic. Um, so here, what are the moves here? G5, it loves my move, yay. Just solidifying the knight in the center, which is attacking this pawn, which is huge, huge pressure, this pawn. And bringing a rook over, that's sensible. I didn't even consider just promoting the pawn this early because it's, he has so many heavy pieces right now. They like my move. They don't like his move because it hangs a rook. <laughs> Let's see, a reasonable move by him, a very human move, would have been this. Which attacks this pawn. But my whole plan of putting my queen here was to trade. Well, if I don't want to move this because this hangs. Well, if there's two pawns hanging, so... If he dares take the pawn, we're going to at least get to trade one pair of something. We're going to get the activity on the D file. Queen has to go somewhere, protecting the pawns. And we were up a pawn, but we have a passer here, which is super strong. We have a good knight applying pressure, and I like black's position. This rook seems a little clumsy, can't coordinate with the knight. Can't get back to the default to escape. Queen kind of can't help it. So I like black. As does the engine. Okay, so this was Jabava London. Countered by A6. We are now 1947. Let's keep going.